I've been invited down to Cyberpower PC to find out a little bit more about you know what goes on, you know, to build these beautiful PCs that we dream of owning. And they might have also enticed me by saying that maybe I could get a PC by the end of the day if I do a good job. So I'm joined now by Alan, who is the first step on the journey to the dream of owning PC ownership, I guess. You get this screen, okay. Pick your budget, yeah. make a few simple choices, yeah. get your perfect PC. Some people have a fair idea of what they already want. Mm -hmm. Some people have no idea. That's me, yes. Okay. I just want it better. Is there an option to click that? Next day, that's pretty impressive. For Ooh. real, next day? Yeah, for real. If you order today, it will be to a little bit more. That quickly, um, my God. Get on with it, Stephen! <laughs> When you order something on the Cyberpower website, obviously, you know, within the website itself, it will kind of hint and let you know if you are perhaps not ordering exactly the right thing. But there's also this additional layer of security, which is in the shape of Rebecca. You are the additional layer of security. So tell us a bit about what you do. So there are things that we know for certain. So for example, um, if you have a 450 watt power supply and a 3080, mm. it's not a good combination. Mm. That's where the human expert comes into it. Um, and that's where we can pick things up and make sure that the customer gets a PC that works well. So do you basically just know everything? Because I feel like you're like <laughs> the, the fountain of knowledge here. Because you, I mean, you'd have to know everything to know what's going to work and what isn't. So that knowledge is built up over time. Um, I originally joined as a builder. Um, and that time on the tools, building customers' PCs, taught me things like, for example, when ports get blocked and, yeah. and what cards are sort of big heavy cards and do that and also we have the customer service guys and um, if somebody says hey in the comments can you check for compatibility and um, they see all the comments um, every night that come in and they oh. see it first thing in the morning yeah. so they go through and they'll have a quick look um, as well and if they spot anything their knowledge and expertise comes to it as well wow this is this is a lot of knowledge a lot of knowledge from here now that I've picked out my dream PC, we've come to the warehouse and we're going to pick out all of the parts and start to put it together. But then they've also like, they've told me I've got to kind of work to sort of earn my PC for the day. So I feel like I can really add and aid, you know, these very technically competent people with my useful PC knowledge. Let's get eight of these. It's like supermarket sweep. Here we go. Have you ever just like pulled everything into it? No? No, no. Do you get fired for like pulling it? Maybe, probably. Maybe. I just like fill it in, like yeah, yeah. like Ikea, uh, uh, but with cool stuff. Don't hate me, Ikea. Um, well, that's great. Let's, um, I don't really agree with walking in principle, so if you could just take me with you, that'd be really yeah, great, yeah, thanks. No I'm so useful at work. You can tell I haven't done a proper job in a while. Did you think you'd be doing this today, Mona? I mean, I was told I was going to do this. Did you imagine you'd be wheeling a woman around in a cart? No. No. The joys of life. Every day is different. Oh, it's going to be a vaporwave disco nightmare in my house, and I'm fully into it. Take me to production, Connor. Let's go. I'm loving today. Now that I've got all of the kit that I need to build my dream PC, Stuart here is going to help me actually build it. The main thing with PCs is if it doesn't fit, yeah. don't, just don't force it. Take a jigsaw. What's probably the most difficult bit to put in? Uh, in normal PCs or like in water PCs, because in water it's the tubes. Right. In normal PCs, just remembering where things go. And is it like is there a kind of set way that you always build a PC? Is it always like there's certain things that always go in first, or does it just depend on like how each PC is designed? With all of them, we're proper motherboards, so we put a processor, yeah. RAM, and yeah. coolers on the board, and then we'll put the board into the case, and then we can wire it in. I need to get one of these. This is fun. Look at me working for a living mum and dad with a proper job. All right, we've got our first, oh, I'm a little bit nervous. We've got our first bit, let's build this. Let's build this baby. So we're going to put this in, whoops, let's put it in the right way, Julia. Uh, that way, no, is that right? Yep. Okay. I'm really enjoying the fact that uh, they realised after the first version of me doing this that it was going to take forever and they've given me a here's one I made earlier. So that's good. As you can see, I'm doing lots of work here, being super helpful to everyone at Cyberpower. Just gonna have a little. It's actually, it's actually a lot more comfortable than you'd imagine. This is the money shot. I don't actually. You know what? I could, I could happily not play any games on this and just look at it. It's stimulating enough. 
now my PC is finally built, we need to make sure, before I slug it home, you know, carry it home, obviously, um, I need to make sure it's all working fine. So, um, how long do you test it for? Do you like stream weird things? Like, what do you do? It tests everything, all mm -hmm. the programs, yeah. the graphics. Mm -hmm. It puts it under extreme stress, as if someone was logged on to everything. Okay, that's me, yes. Yeah. All right, so um, has mine passed the test, though, would be the question. Uh, absolutely, yes. Now that we've been to QC with Gary, and I know that my PC is like absolutely tuned to perfection, I've come over here with Hayden because basically there's so much kind of like different RGB options, and I need to know how to harness the power of the color within my PC. So Hayden, can I create a sort of vaporwave hellscape should the mood take me? If, if that's what you want to do, yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely. Like, fine. <laughs> it's yeah. a full IQ system. You can do absolutely anything you want. So if you, yeah. can, if you can think of it, you can, you can do it. I like this one, it's like a slow pulse. Because I'm really indecisive, I like all the colours, but I don't want too much of all the colours at one time, so this is, this is pretty good for me. I'm so close to taking this baby home, and there's just one more person I want to talk to, and this is Asha, who actually does like, you do a lot of this kind of social media stuff for Cyberpower. You yeah. create PC porn. Do you get a lot of kind of feedback on the content that you make online? Uh, yeah, it's nice. I like to sort of interact with the community sort of thing like that. Uh, mm. Really active on Discord and stuff like that. And we've just recently opened up like, like a Reddit and stuff like that. So the community part, of, like the human side of Cyberpower is sort of growing. Right, so my PC has been given the all clear and uh, obviously I'm gonna, I want to take it home with me, but uh, you know, you've got a lot of delicate kind of tech in there. How do you make sure it doesn't just get like trashed on the way home? Well, we'll pack it properly for you and we'll be using ultra hand stair packaging solution. What is that? Though? What is that? It's like a foam that's mixed in two barrels. And yeah. It, it heats up. Yeah. And when it mixes together, it expands. Right. And you've got about 68 seconds to work with it before it hardens. This sounds really complicated. Can we can we pack it up and like you can show me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little sleep on the train on the way home. There we go. Be careful. <laughs> I used to work in a, in a warehouse. I got some skills. Uh, Cam, you weren't joking. This whole thing's going on a giant pallet. That's why is it so big? We need to be make sure. So when once our your piece is going to get delivered to your house. Yeah. We have to make sure yeah. it's packed perfectly, okay. internally, externally. I mean, I could fit in this box with the PC and be transported home. Yes, uh, 100% of your Do you life. do that personal service? Like, could you get in here and just, you know, travel home with my PC, making sure no one's near it? Uh, no, you don't no. have to say yes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the fun bit. Do we just cram it in? Yeah. <laughs> How much is too much? Is yeah. there such a thing? It's never too much. Never too much, never right, too much. duly noted. Tote, just, it's like a suitcase, just... Yeah. Who's got the tape? Right. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, this is a rather large amount of PCs. This isn't even all they do in a day. This is like a tiny fraction. These are the Amazon orders. This isn't even the ones you go to the website to make. So, yeah, these guys, they make a lot of PCs in a day. It's a lot. I can't even make one in a week. This is kind of how I drive in real life, so it's accurate. Uh, anyone got the taxi number for a taxi with a really big boot? No? Uh, this could be problematic getting on a train. Oh well, off I go.